Huskies and the Lakers. Game two of this CCHA series. These two teams will meet up again very soon next month down at Tappy Able Arena. Huskies had a good start last night, Brent. I know you didn't get a chance to see it because you were at the Hall of Fame banquet, but a lot of pressure down inside the Lakers zone. But it'd be nice to get that kind of start here tonight. Bring it back up top. Jeffers able to slide it over to the far side. Shot taken there and a dangerous play. Wanted to deliver and he did. Back to the point now. Here's a pass to the side. Kataroff with a shot and a score! And a great pass for the Huskies. Kataroff to the front. And it is Jankowski, I believe, who put that in on the one-timer on a pretty play. And the Huskies take a one-nothing lead. Across the line comes Mosley. Mosley bringing it wide on the left side. Looking in front. Oh, and he hit the side of the post. Tried to go short side on Legenegger, and Legenegger didn't know where the puck went. Agoni, Van Agoni has some room. It's a two-on-one for the Lakers. A pass to the front, and it never got to the goal. Very nicely, but just wide of the net on the far side. Big hit right there. Mosley able to knock down. Russell, good. Oh, what a play by Mosley. Mosley coming down two-on-one with Kukinen. Sauces it over for Kukinen. A shot and a save by Langenegger. With four seconds left now, we'll go to the first intermission with a 1-0 lead here at the John McGinnis Student Ice Arena. Corner, Huskies trying to get it outside of the zone, and they do. Good play there by Kataroff, and Kataroff walking in and gets it on another player. Kataroff makes a move to the net, shot it towards the goal. Person Roy, Roy turns it over, here's a chance for the Huskies, a shot, and that was sail wide. Who's puck in front of that as it came right back in front, another shot for the Huskies, and Langenegger is able to hold on. He's just about outside of his crease. Hey, Willits playing catch up top there with Bankston. Bankston shot it and right in front. Boy, that's a tough thing. Game, I remember doing that as a kid. Oh, well, the Huskies turn it over, a shot taken. Jack Works will pick it up. Jack Works now waiting for a late defenseman coming off the bench. Here's Russell scores! Oh, wow! Russell just literally hopped off of the bench, and Jack Works saw him and laid it back to the high slot just inside of the blue line, actually, and what a rocket by Trevor Russell, his second goal in as many weekends to give the Huskies their biggest lead of the weekend. Porter trying to find a way to get us to the front of the net. They do, a bouncing puck right there, and that one almost went in. Loose puck coming in late there was Kukin in, but now by Kataroff. Good feet movement by the Huskies. Here's Ford with a shot. That one redirected. Nice save by Langan and a rebound, and went wide of the net. Penalty is over. Two seconds left, and what a period by the Huskies. 18 shots to 10 after two periods of play. Boyle held in by Light. He'll slide it over for Jed Piedela. His shot redirected just wide of the goal. There's a Laker wide open in front. Chance right here is a shot. Save made by Blake. Rebound right in front of the Michigan Tech goal. Dawson Tritt across the line. Posa racing to the net. A shot save. Big rebound there off of Blake as it hit his chest protector. To the front of the goal and a chance now for Willett. Sent it down. And what a save. Unbelievable by... Wow. Blake Piedela. I think everybody in the building was waiting for the Lakers to start raising their sticks with a goal, and Blake Piedela stoned him. Mosley will make a move, still has it, and shot it, and went off of a stick. As the Lakers bring it up, and another shutout for Blake Piedela, this one just wide of the net, and the Huskies win it here tonight, two to nothing. What a great performance by these two teams in the final couple of minutes. A great push by Lake State here in the third, coming back. Even up the shots on goal, they just threw everything they could at the net, but Blake Piedela with another shutout, 14th of his career, he stood on his head tonight. Nothing victory here tonight, but this is a lot of fun to watch.